Hey guys, I'm just driving back to Arizona now from Little Rock, Arkansas. Got a long, about 16 to 20 hours ahead of me. So let's do a chill smoke sesh. Toot. Today, I want to complain about the Fast and Furious franchise. Okay? Light this cigarette, and we'll get into it. Alright, so you know in the Fast and Furious movies when like someone like there's two people racing or multiple people racing and like the, there's one person in the front and he's very far away, like super far ahead, and then like the person that's behind just is like, oh, screw this. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go speed up and catch up to them. And then they like go really fast and catch up to them. And then they're like neck and neck, you know, like going back and forth from who has the lead and who doesn't like, what the fuck? Like, that's not how physics works, man. Like if you're able to catch up that fast the only way that you should end up going like the same speed as each other is either that person slows to, one of those people either like the person that's doing the catching up either slows down once he's caught up or the person that he caught up to speeds up and that doesn't like if you're in a race you should be going as fast as you can the whole time right right like it doesn't make any any sense to me why like like so if you're the one catching up you better not be slowing down like if you're trying to win that race like if you can go that fast that you can catch up that quick you should be going that fast the whole time unless you gotta take turns and stuff and you got whatnot but but what what are you doing and if you're in the lead and people catch up to you and then you're like, oh, you know what I should do? I should speed up. No, you should have been going as fast as possible the whole time because that's how racing works. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Like, it's not, like, slowing down or going, like, fast, but not as fast as possible. It's, like, a tactical move. I mean, yeah, sure, you don't want your car to overheat and whatnot. But fuck, man. It just never made no sense to me. Like, I get, like, the movie's trying to build suspense and shit, like, oh, who's gonna win? Like, bitch. Make it more realistic. People watch NASCAR over and over and over again for years. And it's pretty much the same fucking thing. Circles, circles, oval circles, left turn, left turn, left turn. Okay? Like, but come on, man. to another point when uh Quicksilver dies in the Marvel movies well in, in all right so in the X-Men movie when Quicksilver shows up I'm pretty sure that's yeah it's Quicksilver in the, in the X-Men movie uh isn't he going fast enough that he's like outrunning like fire and like everything's like pretty much frozen or at the very least it's slowed down by a dramatic amount you know like he could easily just knock stuff away or whatever but like in the Marvel movie where he died 
Now, I don't remember that movie very well because I've probably only seen it like once or twice, but I'm pretty sure he took a bullet to save Hawkeye's life and some little girl. Very admirable, but couldn't he have just like gone super fast, like as fast as he could? And like change the trajectory of the bullet? Right? Like, or, I mean, at the very least, he could have rushed up and moved Hawkeye and that little girl. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes down. I'm not 100% sure, so whatever. But if that is, if I'm remembering it correctly, he should have been able to do that. Like, like to me, that's the equivalent of like having a bulletproof vest and like, you see somebody's about to get shot and you're gonna jump in the way of the bullet so you take the bullet. But right before you get hit by the bullet, you, you throw that fucking vest off. It doesn't make sense. I just don't know. I'm trying to think of other movies that are irritating. You know what? I got another fucking complaint. <laughs> Alright, so with all this cussing, this is probably going to get an age restriction. But, uh... Listen. If... In, in that Final Fan... Or Final Fan... The Fast and Furious movie after... That Brian was making... Uh, Paul Walker was in. The last one he was in. At the end when they CGI'd him and he just, like, took a different road. Like... That just didn't make any sense to me. That doesn't make... Because, like... They should have had him die. Like, in the movie. Like... They didn't. What they did was... They are like, oh... Brian just walked away from his family and Dominic and got in his car and started driving away. Like, what? He just abandoned his family? His fucking kid? And then... He just takes a turn. Goes off the turnpike. He's like, see you. And like, they should have killed him off because now he just looks like an absentee father and a terrible husband. Like, I get that it signifies what it signifies. Like, it's, it's like signifying that. Like, he did die and he's like taking, he's, his life has ended and his journey's over. So he, he left. But for the story of the movies, like... Where is he? Like, in the actual story of the movie, where the fuck did he go? It doesn't make sense. Did he go to Walmart? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to call this a fucking chill smoke sesh, but it doesn't seem very chill, but... God. For, for sex, man. If you're going to do it, do it right. You know? I just... It's just... Wow, man. Like, wow. Oh, up to $1,000 for littering on highways. That's, that's cool. I did like Step Brothers, though. That was a pretty good movie. Talladega Nights, great film. Makes 100% sense. No issues. You know what else doesn't make sense? 
with other movies. Brokeback Mountain. That that movie makes literally. Uh, all right. Well, the movie itself, sure, it makes sense, but one scene in particular doesn't make any sense. Like, you know what, dude did? Like that 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 fucking gay scene. Like, you know how unrealistic it is to just shove your dick into some other dude's ass? Like, it's supposed to be f- difficult. Like, it's... If your asshole is that loose, you need to see somebody about that. Like, how are you riding a horseback all day long with a loose butthole and not shitting yourself on the reg? Like... Like, either that really hurt and dude's really strong and held in the tears and, like, the pain... Or he liked the pain. I don't know. But an asshole is... It's not self-lubricating unless you have diarrhea. In my opinion, I mean, I don't have a self-lubricating asshole. Nor do I need one. Maybe I need one, but that's none of your business. (laughs) Like, I have nothing against gays, like, at all. Like, they're fine with me. But that scene just seems like it sets... An unrealistic expectation for the young, for the gay youth. You know? Maybe that was the point. Maybe the director was like, hey, I want to convince other gay dudes to take it in the butt for me. So let's make it look super easy. I don't know. I don't know. Ah! But it just seems unrealistic. Like... It should have been some foreplay, like, have the dude put his thumb in there, maybe his finger, spit on his dick a little bit. I don't know. I don't know how gay stuff works. Never really looked into it. Maybe I should. I don't know. But, like, come on, man. Looney Tunes Back in the Action was a great movie. 